Eating better is easier with Koo produce. Homegrown from our plus to your plate. Koo uzotkoala. Fresh produce grown right here in Zanzi. Ay, we got you. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Making eating better as easy as adding color to your plate. With Koo's range of vegetables and fruit. Uzotkoala. Get Koo. As we said to make eating better, easier. Color your plate with Koo. It feels so great to have made it through the elimination round. I'm so relieved. I'm just bummed that we had to see two people go home. I'm so happy that I'm close to the prize, but I'm so scared as well because I'm facing like strong people now. Making it through to the next round has definitely boosted my confidence a lot. I feel like I've overcome the baking fear. Another day in the kitchen. Congratulations to our top six for making it this far. Yay. Now this is where the competition really gets tough. From now on, one of you will be eliminated in each challenge leading up to the grand finale. And of course, at the end of it all, our season two winner walks away with their share of 500,000 in cash and in prizes. But today there's also another prize up for grabs. The winner of this challenge will walk away with an instant pot smart cooker. Okay, now for the challenge. When it comes to cooking with Koo, there's one group that's particularly difficult to please. And I'm not talking about professional chefs or seasoned foodies. For some of you, they're a little bit closer to home. Today, you'll be cooking for kids. Oh. <laughs> Healthy growing kids need balanced and nutritious meals. But often it can be tricky to get them to eat veggies. And this is where you need to get creative. You'll have one hour to prepare a wholesome midweek after school meal. And later on, we've got some very hungry kids that's going to help us taste. Oh. Kids can be so brutal. They have no filter. They're just 100% pure honesty. But it is not only the kids you'll have to impress. Let's meet this week's guest judge. My name is Lisa Laurie Mtobeni and I work in radio and television. My claim to fame was definitely being crowned Miss South Africa 2015. Since then, it's just been the trajectory going all the way up. We're in the space now where it's top six. So I'm definitely expecting a higher caliber. So I'm looking for something that's fun, something that's easy to eat, and something that will make me have that little warm, fuzzy feeling inside, thinking, oh man, I either wish I had that as a kid, or this takes me back to being a kid. <laughs> I'm here, I made it, so excited, oh my gosh. Now, you guys know I don't have any kids, but I used to be a kid, so I'm quite excited about today's episode, quite excited to see what you're going to cook up. I'm definitely blushing a bit. It's a beautiful woman that we are cooking for. Never mind the kids at this point, now I'm even more nervous. You may use any cool products, but you must at least use one. So are you ready to cook for the kids? Yes. yes. Contestants, all the best. I'm really excited to taste all of your meals. Ready, steady, colour your plate. plan today is to make a healthier plate on fish and chips, so I'm making veggie cakes along with cake goujons. I'm making my chicken and corn patty that I'm going to be making like a nice burger for them. And I'm going to be making the zucchini and corn also, pancake. My plan today is to make a healthy pizza with lots of veggies. So I thought maybe to have meatballs with hidden vegetables. Today I'm going to be making mini tacos with some chili con con. I don't think it's risky because my husband is the biggest kid and he loves this dish. And then I'm making a corn salsa, some guacamole and a surprise treat of churros for the end. I am making arancini balls and in the arancini mix I'm going to mix in some peas and bacon. And then I'm also going to do a beetroot hummus and butternut hash browns with a burnt butter sauce. As well as chocolate brownie cookies and a peachy drinking yogurt. I will be doing a chicken and black bean quesadilla. I'm also doing a corn and bacon fritter, and I'm gonna do an interesting take on cauliflower, and I'm gonna deep fry it and call it cauliflower wings. What kid doesn't like peanut butter? 
They're cooking for kids today. I think yeah. this is probably one of the most difficult challenges because yeah. kids are quite fussy. It's definitely going to be one of those instances where you have to focus and be very, very like intentional on what's on your plate. Mm -hmm. Now, for what I've learned with kids as well, the more colour you have on the plate, the shapes, yes. you know, you need to be playing around and make it more fun. I mean, this is a tough one for them. Koo sweet corn isn't marnet milisinje, but a delicious source of fibre. Picked and packed at its prime, from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. Shai Makombo Fast Fast. Koo mixed veg seasoned and tasty combinations. Nje. Picked and packed at its prime, from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. Ilam, I heard something about your husband is one big kid as well, or am <laughs> yeah. I wrong? He is and he loves this dish, so I really hope that the kids enjoy it. Is it going to be pretty? It's going to be very pretty. Now, let's say you're like me, you're the aunt. You're yes. the one who's always cooking the for manti. other people. The manti, <laughs> there we go. So is it going to be tasty and also exciting whilst being healthy. I'm going to try and make it playful, I'm going to try and make it cute, I'm going to try and make it as flavorful as possible. Tuli, so you're making pizza today? Yes, I'm making pizza, Chef. I love my pizza as a cheat day kind of meal. How are you going to bring it back and make it healthy? I'm going to add a lot of veggies. Like here, I have my chakalaka sauce. So I'm doing my chakalaka sauce and that mix with um, tomato paste. That smells incredible. I'm going to have to get the side recipe from yeah. you for, for later. Is that fine? Thank you, yes. You don't need a recipe. It's already in the can. Oh, cool. I'm just, I think I'm just going yeah. to take it. You're going to take it. OK, let's do it. Tabisho, sure you're cooking for kids. Do you have any kids? Yes, I do. Okay, so you're used to this. This is a I'm walk in the park this. for you. Easy, easy. No, 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 no. Difficult. So you're doing triple cooked chips? Triple cooked chips yeah? with some rosemary and lemon. Wait, okay. what does that mean? So it's boiling then? Boiling. And then you're going to no, first fry, fry like yes. slow fry, and then you're going to last sort yes. of quick Deep fry. fry. Deep, Deep fry. Deep fry, yeah. JP, so, I mean, you're basically cooking for yourself today, yeah? You know, being, one, being one big kid. Something like that, yes, chef. <laughs> I'm definitely prepared for the kids today. I feel like I'm going to use flavours that will kind of just explode their mind a bit. So I'm doing cauliflower wings. Yeah. So instead of chicken wings, you're yeah. doing cauliflower so wings. So we're going to make them look like wings and then, yeah, crisp it up and deep fry them nicely. Contestants, you're exactly halfway through this challenge. Oh my gosh, make me proud, guys. Come on, Come make on. me proud. Colour those plates. I'm seeing two of my favourite things here. There's bacon over here, and then there's cake over there. There's chocolate brownie cookies, right. and there's carrots hidden on the inside. Wow. Girl, smart, smart, smart. The carrots are quite intriguing in there, isn't it? I am, and I'm going to be searching yeah. for them, so I'm going to be the big kid for this one, because I want to figure out if I'm going to actually taste it, or if it's going to be hidden well enough for me to just say that, you know what, this is oh. chocolate cake. I'm not entirely happy with my corn fritter because it's definitely falling apart in front of me and I realise I need to alter this in some way. I just need to wait for my oil to get hot because um, the stove was off. I wouldn't say that this is a setback. I'm just going to go and do something else and come back to it. For my hake goujons, I'm just going to be cramming them with a simple coating, frying them until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, with 20 minutes left, I just need to fry my chicken, my croquettes, and then start plating. My goodness. I've got 20 minutes to go. I still need to form the rice into little balls, fry them off. I'm still waiting for my butternut. I still need to make a burnt butter sauce and my gomas. My oil's finally heating up and now I can fry my churros. They are puffing up beautifully. I still have to do the cauliflower wings. Luckily, I've already got my uh, quesadilla in the oven. My only concern right now is my fritters. Now I'm checking my pizza bases and then there's bubbles. But it's not the end of the world. I'm still going to use my pizza base as it is. 
I'm trying to make my potato bakes into a little teddy bear. Hopefully, whatever vision you have will also translate on the plate. Yes, I hope so too. Okay. With these nori sheets, I'm just going to make the bunny ears, the eyes and the mouth, the nose. As I'm flipping one of my teddy bears, the ear falls off. I'm a bit worried. Fantastic job. Cheers of joy. Ten minutes left, guys. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes, guys. I taste the oil. The oil's still cold. I need this oil to heat up quickly. Hurry up. How you like it definitely looks wait. like a win. I'm telling you. I just hope that the kids won't be disappointed <laughs> when they bite into it. <laughs> That's the last flitter to be perfect. I decided to make beetroot hummus because I needed just a splash of colour for the kids, of course, on my flight. It's just like an after meal treat. I've got all my elements ready for the plate. But you stress it, where's the plate? I look over and Carter's got the whole of Crockeryville sitting next to me, and I realized that there's only one plate for me to use. Okay, we've got a plate. We've got a plate. Ladies. One minute to go. <gasps> one minute to go. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Step away from your plates, guys. Well done! Woo! I'm a bit disappointed because I did not get to plate all of my elements. The butter nuts, not on my plate. The burnt butter sauce, it's there. It's not on my plate. I feel really good today. I really did my best and I'm super excited. I feel pretty good about my dish. I just hope the taste also delivers. I'm happy with my pizza. I'm just worried it's a little bit salty. I'm feeling happy with the, the whole pizza that I've made and also with the croquettes. I think they go well together with a little bit of flour that I have in here. I'm a bit worried. Kind of ran out of time at the end there, but I'm confident the flavors are all on the plate that I needed to be. Okay, we've got a few very hungry guests just waiting to tuck in. Ooh. Let's go taste. Let's go. I'm hungry. A cool baked bean isn't just soma any point ginger. It's a great source of protein made with the original secret sauce. And only that thing, homegrown from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with cool. For overall improved well being, put that special something into any meal with cool beetroot. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with cool. Well, guys, today it was all about kids. You know what I like is that we are fostering, you know, good eating habits for the young generation that is the future of this country. Yeah. Uh, you know, you want to do that, but at the same time, you still have to give them food that they enjoy to eat. Exactly. <laughs> I think they need to see it and want to eat it because one thing about young people, little kids, we know it. They have to look at it and actually be drawn to it. Well, and speaking of our special guests, I think they've just arrived. Yay! Hello. How are you? How's everybody? Good. Yes. Are we good? Are we excited? Yes. Who's most excited? Me. <laughs> I think they're ready. <laughs> I think they're ready. Bring on the first plate. I feel nervous walking to the judges. I'm really happy with all of my components, except I really wish I had a bigger star nozzle so my churros just had a little bit more definition in their shape. So I made some mini mince tacos with a little bit of salsa and guacamole and then some churros on the side. I'm really proud that I managed to get everything that I wanted to achieve today done and within time. Amatli? My mouth was watered and ready. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. And what about the churro? Mm, too sweet. Too sweet? Really? Okay, cool. You're my kind of guy. More savoury rather than sweet. Ryan is actually the more difficult when it comes to tasting food, but he likes it. Yeah. His brother doesn't. I kind of like the crispness of the taco. Mm. The churros, I would like some caramel with it. Yeah, oh. that's, the, that's, that's how it's done. I think if it was a little bit harder, it might have needed the sauce. Oh, mm. yeah. Okay, let's taste the next one. Yes! The small kids are the biggest critics. So I think that's why I'm scared of them. 
Okay, Logan and Yazid, did you guys come hungry? Yes. yes. Okay, let's bring in the food. Carry my plate to the judges with, with the new one, which is extra to the judges. So I think it's really intimidating, and I never thought I would be intimidated by small kids. So I make the chicken and corn burger with some little bit, like I can say, pancake on it, and then with some nice hashtag chips, like truffle cooked burger, and with some chickpea mayo. I think the proudest moment is to make pancake into the burger. They wouldn't really open, have enough time to open it, and they will really think it's meat. Yazid, how was that? I'm very good. Did you like it? I like the crunchiness. I saw my first You finished the whole one, it was so nice. <laughs> yeah. The two patties that he actually gave us, it really works, even though I felt like uh, the chicken one was a little bit dry. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Yes! Yeah. yes. Walking my plate up to the judges is very nerve-wracking. I'm happy with what I've delivered, but now I just need the taste to deliver equally as much. Today I've prepared a potato cake stuffed with vegetables from Ku, along with a side salad of cucumber and carrot, a tartar sauce to go with my hake goujons. And then for a treat, I prepared a nut energy ball. I'm most proud of the aesthetic element of my plate. It looks so cute, very childlike, playful and fun. I like the salad. Mm -hmm. And the fish, okay. but nothing else. I only like the fish, it was, yeah, fine. Well, for me, I like the fish, like that acidity of the tartar, I kind of like that. Okay. What do you say? Are we ready for the next one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's yes. go. I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm wondering if the kids are going to like the pizza. But at the same time, I believe kids enjoy pizza a lot. So all these mixed emotions, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with my plate and taking to the judges. On my pizza, I have hidden vegetables in my meatballs. And then I also have three robot peppers with some sweet corn and the cheese on top. The kids really look excited. And when they said, mmm, cheese, mmm, pizza, I got really happy that, oh, at least I saved them exactly what they would like. So I'm super excited with their reaction. I was still biting my pizza when I looked over yours was gone. Did you manage to put that in your mouth in one bite? So is it a thumbs up then? Double thumbs up. The veggies and the meatballs fit really good together. Yeah, it took me back to my Oma's house when I was a young girl. And you know, we threw the leftovers onto the pizza. So the meatballs over there with the veggies, <laughs> stunning. Okay, you boys still hungry? Yeah. Yes. Okay, there's more food coming. At this point, I actually feel like crying, knowing that this plate is going to be one of the most charged plates in the country at this very moment. So it makes me nervous. So today, judges, I made a cauliflower wing and I'm serving it with a tomato and baked bean dipping sauce. I also made a chicken and black bean quesadilla and then also a bacon and corn fritter. So with so many years in the industry and so many people I've cooked for, so many important people I've cooked for, and I'm reduced down to a bunch of kids. Absolute wow moment. I liked everything, I can't lie. Plus, those, I, I can't lie, I changed my mind without liking vegetables, it's great. My inner child over here, I won't lie, looked at the black bean and went, mm. yeah. looks a little scary, but I think taste, flavor wise, inner child said, yay. I guess we can get the next dish. I'm in a bit of a panic. I hope I've done enough. I know they're going to like the cookies and I know they're going to like the drink. I just really hope that the orangini is enough to impress these little judges of mine today. Today I made orangini balls with bacon and cheese on the inside with pink hummus dip and chocolate brownie cookies and a peach drinking yogurt. Hopefully these brownies of mine would bribe the kids to look past this beautiful painted main plate of mine. Lauren, you seem very quiet there. What's happening? I liked it. And Riyad? The rice with the bacon with the cheese was really good. That was Big good. brownie points mm, for the brownie. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Little kid was not very excited about the hummus, I won't lie. So did you boys enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Nice, eh? Okay, you guys can come back in. Amashle, <laughs> Yazid, did you guys enjoy it? Yeah. 
Well, now we have all the opinions. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to make a decision. Ooh, it really definitely is nerve-wracking. Today, it's going to be the kid himself or herself charging the food and that makes me extremely nervous. So this was something uh, different for us today. It was exciting to have the kids in the studio as well. But man, they are super critical. They know what they like. Ilam, I really loved the polite, nice flavors in the bite-sized you know, chili con carne tortilla. However, the veggies were not more disguised and we we're cooking for kids who eat with their eyes. Tabisho, I think it was kind of obvious to go with a burger, but by making your own patty and that little pancake that you added, the flavor combinations really was spot on. So well done. Tuli, you made a pizza. The kids really, really enjoyed it. But the big question is, was the balance right? Zecho, in presentation, your dish looked stunning and the kids loved it. Unfortunately, in terms of flavor delivery, especially the vegetable filling that you put in there, just didn't really translate well. Now, Karen, you incorporated your cool elements really, really well, especially in that brownie. But I am going to fault you in the fact that you didn't plate up all your elements. JP, the flavors in the quesadilla were really nice. However, because time got the better of you, your plating wasn't that refined. Okay, so under the cloche is the winning dish. Lisa, will you do the honors, please? 100%. The winning plate is... Mm. The winning plate is... I feel like singing to my mother. She called me this morning that pizza it is. And here I am, the winner. As the winner of today's challenge, you win an Instant Pot Smart Cooker. Well done. That one belongs to my mother. Now, as you know, today is an elimination challenge. So the person going home today is... the Sejo. The Sejo, unfortunately, it was a decision made by the kids coming today. There were just a few elements that just didn't work. Today just didn't go your way. I'm a bit bummed, but I'm leaving on a high note. And to the rest of you, it's only going to get tougher. We'll see you in the next round. OK. I feel like I'm leaving here a great cook, an even better cook than when I came in. Next time on Color Your Plate with Koo, the top five face their biggest challenge yet, creating a Sunday lunch-inspired feast. And joining the judging panel is chef and cooking show host, Lin Bengu. Just add color to your plate with Koo's range of fruit and vegetables. Eating better has never been easier. Koo, uzotwala. Another feel-good production.